Hello friends, welcome to this channel and we are continuing with our session on the configuration of MyCom P444 or P442 relay using MyCom S1 Agile software. In last two sessions, we have already discussed about the relay settings, input output configuration and the PSL logics in case of MyCom relays. In this session, we are going to discuss about the MCL file creation that is the 61850 related file creation like ICD, CID, SCD, etc. And how to create the data sets, uh, report control block, GUI control block, GUI publishing, etc. All these things will be discussed in this particular session only. So, if you have already subscribed to this channel, then you must be aware that all the video on this channel are published in both Hindi as well as English language, but there are no difference between the uh, these two videos in terms of content so all the contents in both the video are exactly the same apart from the video language so in case you want to see any videos in any of these two languages then you can see that video from the playlist now let us start with today's session so i have already opened the project on which i am working since last two session and now if you see here one uh, file is already added in MCL61850, but I am not going to use this file because I will explain the complete procedure from the scratch. So just right click and this uh, new file. So once you create this new file, this new file 000 it is created. Double click and now a new window ID configurator IC61850 will be opened. So in this uh, firstly you have to uh, name this IED so before starting any modification what you have to do is just press on this lock that is to enter manual editing mode now first thing go to this uh, device name that is template and here IED details so change this uh, IED name to the naming description used in your substation like suppose b401 underscore m1 or you can rename it as aa1 q1 4 p1 so suppose this is the name that i am using for this particular id then the next tab which is communication in case of communication the important parameter for us is the ip address suppose the ip address for this particular id is 172.16.34.100 and i am using this subnet mask and gateway address is default 0000 now you have to select the media that is whether you are using single fiber or single fiber or single copper or redundant fiber so whatever the media that we are using depending upon the relay that is available at site so that we have to select here now the next tab which is SNTP which is basically used for your time synchronization purpose if you see here presently it is uh, shown as external server 1 and external server 2 both are not configured so what you have to do is you have to go to this uh, external server 1 and now in this external server 1 the only thing that you have to enter is this IP address of I, uh, GPS so suppose the IP address of GPS is uh, 172.16.34.5 you don't have to configure this external server 2 if it is not available or you can uh, enter the uh, external server 2 by making any other id as the source for time synchronization but suppose in our case i am using only one ip address for one gps the next important thing is data set definitions so now you have to create some data sets like the protection signals or measurement signal or control signal whatever may be the signals that you want to send to your SCADA as well as for GUIJIN purposes. So now first thing uh, go to this data set and click on add data sets. Once you click on add data set you have to name this data set suppose this data set is for protection signals so rename it as protection and then click on this contents add item so click here suppose I want to add the protection signals like distance zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4 operated so distance zone 1 if you can recall from my 61850 uh, theoretical sessions then you must be aware that the distance signals are uh, the logical nodes for distance signals are PDIS 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 depending upon the 
different zones. So suppose I am using PDIS1 for zone 1 and now I'll go to this ST and suppose I want to select the start and operated signal. So just select these two and add. Now suppose the next two signals that I want it for zone 2. So again go to a protection and in the protection go to PDIS2 and ST. Now select this STR. So you have to click here and click here and then press the uh, a space button either you can press here or pre uh, click the a space button or you can directly select this uh, a tick mark so there are two different ways in which you can select these signals again add suppose I am using uh, one more signal that is protection over voltage operator so these signals you have to decide based upon the data list of your substation based upon the uh, different signals that you are uh, that you need to transfer to SCADA or different signal that you want to uh, transfer from your IED to some different IED for gauging purpose. So only those signals you need to consider here or you need to select here. So now again I have selected this and these two signals for over voltage and uh, suppose uh, I want some general trip signal also. So go to this protection and now the general trip the, if you recall that is PTRC so just go on this is PTRC1 and then ST and now uh, in this PTRC I can select this uh, trip like trip phase A, phase B, phase C or general trip. So suppose I am using the general trip so just general trip and then add. So now uh, these are protection signal suppose you want uh, another data set suppose you want one more data set for measurement signal. So again select on this data set definitions go to add data set and now in the add data set suppose this is measurement signals so generally measurement signals uh, are not required from the protection id but the measurement signals we take from the bcu but only for the purpose of this understanding of mcl file creation i am taking measurement signals from this protection id so measurement then again plus so the measurement signal will be available in this measurements so now go to mmxu so primary or MMXU secondary so sec uh, select secondary if you want and then go to MX and in this MX suppose I want uh, power active power reactive power VA power factor hertz uh, then the voltage phase to phase voltage uh, your uh, phase to ground ampere so anything that you want to publish or that you want to send from this relay to your SCADA system that you can select here and then select add once you have done this two, the next thing that is important for us is report control block. So just expand this report control block and now if you see here, presently none of the report control blocks are configured. The important thing for us is that you have to decide that how many a uh, client this relay is going to report. So suppose your relay is going to report to four clients, then you have to create four different report control blocks. Or if your, your relay is going to report to three clients, then you have to create three different uh, report control blocks. So just go to this report control block and select the first report control block. This is the report control block is the default name is this is your uh, IED name that is AA1Q14P1 which we have given uh, in the beginning then this system LLN0 this is the default system LLN0 then uh, this next is URCB so your U is for unbuffered RCB is for report control blocking A is your the first report control block and A01 now in this report control block whatever signal you want to transfer so suppose I want to transfer all the protection signal so just select uh, this uh, sorry just select this protection signal from here now uh, go to the second that is B and in this also suppose I want all the protection signal so just select the protection signals similarly for you RCBC uh, you have to select the protection signals and for you RCBD you have to select the protection signals why I have selected four because I am assuming that this relay is going to report to four different clients in case your relay is going to report to six clients then you have to select the same data set in E and F also but presently I am assuming that my relay is going to report to four different clients so I am selecting only four RCBs and I have mapped the data set or I have uh, selected the data set reference if you see here now this A, B, C, D these are now fully configured so now suppose uh, you want to send your measurement signal to two or three clients. So in that case, select this measurement to E 
then for f also select this measurement signal if you want to send the measurement signal to suppose three clients then go to g and select this measurement here also now once you have done this you can see now the a b c d which was for the protection signals these are fully configured e f g which is for measurement signal these are also fully configured so now the next thing is the goose publishing so once you want your uh, this IED to publish some goose signal and you want to send the, those goose signal to different IEDs so what you have to do is go to this goose publishing and this system LLN0 presently you can see there are uh, 8 GCB blocks and in all these uh, 8 CB block uh, these are not configured so suppose I want to create one GCB or I want to send the good signal publish good signal from here to some IDs so uh, just select GCB1 and now in this GCB1 the, uh, if you can recall from one of my theoretical session on the basics of 61850 then I have already explained in details that the goods is basically the multicast uh, messaging system and in this multicast uh, messaging system it depends upon the MAC address and this MAC address must be unique for each ID and then the, you have to define this application ID suppose I am using this application ID 1 and VLAN identifier also as 1 then you have to decide this VLAN priority uh, we will keep it as the default as 4 minimum cycle time maximum cycle time we will keep it as default or uh, you can change based upon your requirement based upon your system configuration uh, system requirement at your substation but the only important thing over here is data set reference so you have to select which signal you want to publish from this id for any other id so i suppose i want to publish all the protection signals so just select this protection signal and then if you see again here this gcb is fully configured just click on save once you click this the next thing is you have to validate whether your configuration uh, is correct or not till now so just validate and now you can see that there is zero error zero warning and there are some messages so that your configuration is okay till now now just save this once you save just cross and the important thing is that if your relay is now connected with your laptop presently my laptop is not connected to any relay so if your relay is connected to laptop then what you have to do is just right click on this uh, mcl file and verify template once your relay is connected to laptop it will uh, be verified since my uh, laptop is not connected to relay so it will uh, give some error like this operation failed and why this error you can see here before you can verify an mcl file you must connect to the relay so the exact relay model and software version can be read Presently my laptop is not connected to relay that's why this MCL file template cannot be verified but that's not an issue once you verify this template suppose your relay is connected to laptop or from DRPC once you verify this template what you have to do is right click on the device and send once you send then in the end what you have to do you have to go to MCL file again and then uh, head, uh, you will get one uh, set like the change active banks so you have to change the active banks that is the active bank configuration will be loaded to the relay and once this is done the, your configuration of 61850 and your configuration of mcl file is complete again if you need icd files what you have to do is just open this by double clicking and you have to go to this uh, tools option and in these tools you will get this export installed icd files and once you click on export icd files your icd files will be exported and that icd file you can use for the configuration of your escada system for the configuration of goods in some other ids that is for receiving the goods from this id to uh, uh, into some other ids so this is very simple in fact the uh, configuration uh, input output uh, configuration as well as relay settings uh, PSL logics and MCL everything is very simple in case of MyCom relay and you will get more familiar about these concepts once you uh, start doing this by your own once you install this software into your uh, laptop and you practice by making different MCL files different PSL and by doing different settings through some uh, schemes then it will become very very easy for you so we will keep this session only up to this point and in case you like the video then you may share this video with your friends so that more and more people becomes aware about these concepts and they may apply these concepts at their location further in case of any doubt or in case of any query you can uh, always comment on the comment section and based upon the comment received from your side i will try to improve from next session onwards and i will try to uh, 
uh, include all those topics that you suggest in the comment section. So we will meet again with some other topics. Till then, thank you and goodbye.